Okay, it is August the 21st, 2023, and still, this judge has not ruled on anything. Let me tell you about corruption. Corrupt people will go to the limit of trying to prove that you're wrong. Okay, this is the order from the judge. And let me show you who the judge is before I show you the order. Matter of fact, let me show you the order first. This is the order that the judge said that my default judgment is denied because these individuals did not answer the summons or the complaint, did not respond to the summons or the complaint. And they reached out to this corrupt judge and got him to make this order. And I'm going to let y'all read it. I'm going to slow ride it so y'all can read every bit of it. This judge says, I didn't serve these defendants. This is page two. I want y'all to read corruption at its finest. I followed every procedure in the federal rule of civil proceeding and this corrupt judge conspired on the color of law with these defendants. These defendants did not respond in a timely fashion, even though he's writing and saying that. What you're going to see, because as I told you before, I'm recording everything in this case and letting you all see wherever it goes. And clearly you're seeing where it goes. Corruption at its finest. That's page three. You saw the recordings of me serving these individuals, having someone serve these individuals, which I paid these individuals to serve them and I recorded it. Okay. It is the 20th day of June. By the United States District Court for the District of Maryland hereby orders that plaintiff motion for default or deny Tacoma Park defendants motion squash is granted. The clerk shall subs Dang, I need to put my glass up. Sustain defendants nonprofit organization Montgomery County Corporation with Montgomery County. Plaintiff is granted 45 days from this day of this order to file proof service for Stewart, Rahimi, and Fuhumi, Montgomery County, and the Tacoma Park defendants. Ain't that some shit, y'all? I gave all these proof to the clerk of the court. And I recorded it. And now this whore of a judge who is a criminal on the color of law has sided with these defendants saying I didn't serve it. And now they want proof that I served them and handed it to the clerk of the court. Plaintiff shall submit any new summons to the clerk of the court. Ain't that some shit? They lost the first one. And now they want me to serve them again. The clerk of the court who lost the first nine summons. I got to go through it and give them a repeat. The clerk shall issue summons and return summons to plaintiff and the clerk provide a copy of the order and the plaintiff and counsel of record. And this is the criminal right here, y'all. This is the criminal. And I'm going to see that he's disbarred. 
I'm going to press it with the DOG, Department of Justice, the Bar Association, and the Federal Ethics Committee who runs these judges in these courthouses. That this individual gets disbarred and the clerk of the court is removed from her position or his position because these summons, nine of them, were handed to the clerk of the court, an employee of the clerk of the court, and all of a sudden they dismiss and he sends me this order. And the funny thing about it, it's August the 21st and I haven't received anything from the court so that I can take it up to Richmond and file my appeal on this matter. Okay? This is the corruption in our judicial system today. Lady Justice has become a whore. She sells herself out to anybody. I paid for a service and they extorted the money and now they're hiding behind corruption and think it's not gonna go anywhere. Out of sight, out of mind, is that what they think? Not with me. I'm waiting for this judge to totally dismiss my case so I can shoot it up to Richmond, Virginia and see if we have honest people up there. If not, I'll take it all the way to the highest court, but I'm gonna get this individual here disbarred because he is corrupt along with the clerk of the court of the United States District Court. These individuals received nine summons and affidavit that they were served. I am a recorded it of these in the being served with agents in their employment and employees of the agents of these people, which is totally legal. As long as they're over 18, that's all I need to worry about. And I didn't serve them myself. And that is the rule. But for some reason, I know what the reason is, corruption. Total corruption in our judicial system in America today that these individuals hide behind this absolute immunity and this is why they think they can do whatever they want to. I'm gonna push this free people in America that this individual and the clerk of the court get disbarred because they're corrupt. They received these nine summons and the funny thing about it is this, whatever a individual files with the clerk, it automatically goes to the opposite party. So when I file my summons and my affidavit, these defendants were notified of it. When the summons went out, the clerk of the court is supposed to notify them. Okay? When I filed it again, and you're gonna see where I, I handed it to the clerk of the court, all nine of them, the clerk of the court must notify the opposite party. The judge sent this order out to all parties. So they knew that there was a lawsuit, but they failed to answer any of the complaints because they got a corrupt judge. And this is what happens when you file against government officials of the state that you're in. The District of Maryland is one of the most corrupt districts around federal wise because they're all in cahoots with each other and they got their hand handed to them in this case and now the only way they can beat it is by getting a corrupt judge I'm not even going to call him no judge call a corrupt individual to write an order like this okay I waited this order went out 620 2023 and if you go here look at here y'all it is the 20th day of June I've waited this long because I'm not going to reserve these people I served them I paid to have them serve I recorded it and then I recorded taking it to the clerk of the court and handed it to them and look at here, y'all. 20th June. Then he says, right here. The plaintiff is granted 45 days.
to file proof of service. Ain't this some shit, yo? I filed proof of service and I recorded it. But for some reason, nine summons disappeared from a federal courthouse, which it should be a criminal act. Extortion. And I told you before this case even started that there would be corruption in this case. And we got it again here. These individuals stole my property without due process, sold my property without due process, and then they got hemmed up, and now they got a whore to cover their ass in the federal courthouse who claims to be a judge who doesn't know the law and doesn't follow the procedures. A judge's job is to not make law. He is supposed to explain law. And the procedures in civil proceeding is very clear. Every step of the way, I was informed by a legal scholar of the federal law and to do it. So we're gonna take this all the way to the highest court. The Bar Association, the Ethics Committee, we're going to Capitol Hill on this judge in this federal uh, case. And we're going to get him disbarred where he can never practice law again, along with the, get, kicking the clerk of the court out. Who is the clerk of the court? Because there is corruption, extortion, criminal activity. When you take money from a citizen and don't give them the service that they require when they follow all the procedures. The civil procedures are very clear. The courts don't make the civil procedures. Legislation does. And these people are not following. This is why they don't want you to come into a, a, a courthouse with a camera and record your actions with them. You have every right to do so. And I employ each one of you, when you're filing lawsuits with these corrupt people, record your interactions with these individuals because this is what happens when you don't. They didn't know that I was recording them and now they got their hand handed to them. Okay? We've contacted the FBI, the Department of Justice, and I'm going to push this. If I don't get my default of judgment, where these individuals did not, and I repeat, did not answer the complaint, did not respond to the complaint in a timely manner. Isn't that what he told me on here? Uh, where is it at? Let me see if I can find it. In a timely manner. Oh, it's over here on this page. I want y'all to read this. If, if I... Oh, read right here where he says... He will be granted 45 days from the date of this order to file proof of service with the court. Ain't that some shit, y'all? As soon as I served these individuals, I went down and I gave them the proof that I served them and it disappeared. And you're going to see it on my recordings. Wait a minute. Let me let me see where how this thing is where he says uh, I needed to serve people in a timely manner. Look at here right here where he writes this at y'all. The court does not find that the secretary for the executive, who is one of the defendants is authorized to accept service for Montgomery County. Ain't that some shit, yo? The secretary who claims to be an executive officer of the corporation of Montgomery County doesn't have authority to, ain't that some shit? So I'm supposed to just walk to the back and knock on Ehrlich's door and give it to him. Or the police department. I'm supposed to walk through the secure areas and find each and every one of these police officers. Ain't that some shit? That's not what the law and the procedure says. As long as they're 18 over and they're an agent of the defendant, which the secretary and the dispatchers are, 
and the managers are, they've been served as long as they're over 18. This is the kind of shit these criminals make up behind closed doors, y'all. Look at here. Where, where is it at? In a time, I want to see where, where I show, I'm going to show you. And then he has the nerve. For all you bootlickers who love to think you know the law, here. It is federal rule, civil procedures for, and they got the nerve to put the J. Go and read it for yourself. These are criminals at their best. And on their best day, if you educate yourself and follow the real laws, you'll beat them at their game every day. And this law, this judge here, I'm going to sue him too. I'm going to sue him too. Derelict of duty, uh, violating my rights under color of law, Title 18, Section 242, and I'm going to seek criminal charges against this individual. For all you bootlickers here, under Federal Rules Civil Procedures 55, go read that about filing a motion for default. They love to quote cases to help them out, but cases don't trump law. Cases help people try to beat the law, but law is law. They love to say, oh, this is case law. It is not case law. It is decisions made by other individuals who didn't know the law. There's no such thing as case law. These are case decisions by individuals, and they love to quote this shit to justify, and this is supposed to be a judge. That's what gets me about. This is not a lawyer. This is an individual who's sitting on the bench, supposed to know the law to enforce and explain the law to people, and he doesn't even know it because he's so corrupt in his ways. And I'm going to file a lawsuit against him, too. And have and try to get him disbarred from ever being a lawyer again. But let me—I I, I just read this a few minutes ago, where this judge stated that I needed to do this in a timely fashion. Okay, these individuals did not answer this complaint and summons in a timely fashion, pursuant to federal civil proceedings, and yet and still. Corruption at its best. And ladies and gentlemen, free people, we need to push for an oversight agency, a group of individuals who are not lawyers, who are not uh, affiliated with the government, to oversee our courts where they don't get uh, conned or persuaded to follow these individuals who sit on these bench and prosecute and defend people. A lawyer's first job is to the court. He, that's why they say he's a ward of the court. We need to put a wall up there and say he's not a ward of the court. He represents the clients. His first obligation is to the court. So how is it that somebody can represent you with their first obligation is to the court? He can't because he's going to side with the court to make deals. When you're looking for something, you can't find it off the bat. But he wrote something that in a timely manner. Well, you gave me 45 days, judge. And I've been waiting for you to make a decision to dismiss this case so I can take it to Richmond, Virginia. And see if there's some honest judges up there who follow the law. That's not what you want to have. I know that's not what you want to happen because they're going to make you look corrupt just like you are. But it's going to go to Richmond, Virginia. Make no mistake. The pills have already been written. The facts have already been written. The discovery and the evidence is already made up. Each recording you see on my web page has already been put on a memory stick to send up to the appeals court and one to the bar association. And we're going to take these documents up to Capitol Hill 
and present them to the judicial committee up there to get you disbarred. Make no mistake about that, judge. Listen, look at this shit right here. Furthermore, Maryland Rule 21241 permits service by serving the resident agent. Isn't the resident agent the secretary of the county executive? I don't think this judge, I don't know how he became a judge. An agent is someone employed And given the authority, a secretary is given that authority, a clerk of the court, I mean, a, a, a manager is given that authority, uh, a dispatcher is given that authority to receive documents to hand to other people. Now he says they're not. <laughs> Accountability. These individuals feel that they have this absolute immunity that they're going to do what they want to do and they're not going to follow the law. That's the same thing that we're about to have another case. Uh, I don't know if this this uh, one of the judges that I'm about to go in 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 uh, Rockville is a person that we served a notice that we're going to sue for violating my constitution and civil rights, and he's going to hold a jury trial for calling a police officer a bitch. Ain't that some shit, y'all? Freedom of speech, the First Amendment. This is the, the case where the little whore down at the district court in Silver Spring gave me 60 days, suspended that, and then gave me two years supervised probation for calling a police officer a bitch on the sidewalk. Freedom of speech. And now they're going to have a jury trial October the second, I think, second or third in Rockville, Maryland, where I requested that jury trial from day one. So now they're going to try to cover their asses by having this fictitious jury trial, which when I went to the district court, I went as a special guest. I had nothing to do with that case, just like this case. I'm going to have nothing to do with it. I'm going to appear. And just like I told them, um, they say I live in PG County, which I don't live in PG County. The problem is they don't know where I live at. They have nothing on me. And this is what I tell you, free people. Stop giving your information out like that. These people, which they call Big Brother, uses your information to track you down and to see what they can get on you. They can't find nothing on me. And that's their problem. That's why they want me to report to this supervised probation so that I have to give all this information up. I'll go do the 60 days before I give up any information. They took an address where I have mail go to and I have at least 10 of them and they marked it as my residence. The parole officer set out in front of this house which people watched them sit out there and watch and then he posted some on the door saying that I needed to report because this was my resident um, in Prince George's County. As I contacted him, I don't even live in the state of Maryland. You, there's no address of my residence in the state of Maryland. Okay. Secondly, I didn't commit a crime in PG County and they have no jurisdiction of anything. That's another myth that they try to do where they can send uh, probation and parole to somewhere else. If you agree to it, you know, and then the, the probation person down off of Rhode Island Avenue said, oh, come in, talk to me, give me an address and we'll move your probation over there. You see what I'm saying? Anything to get information on you, they'll try. No. I'll go do the 60 days and then sue you for a million dollars every day I sit up in there. And if I need to use deadly force, that's what I'll do. And it'll be on this fuck judge who gave me this time for saying the word bitch. 
evidently he lives on another planet because he said in this society, this is a word we can't use. Evidently, he doesn't listen to rap music or movies. Look at TV where this word is used constantly in our society. It's not a fighting word unless you're a whore like he might be. And I'm going to sue his dumb ass too. We were just waiting to see what this judge do with this case. But evidently, he's playing games too. So this judge needs to get a lawyer too because we're about to sue him. And we're going to the judicial bar on him on Capitol Hill and in Maryland to try to get him disbarred. But again, corruption at its best, ladies and gentlemen. And, and one more thing. You bootlickers and ass kissers who make these stupid comments. I got one that keep asking me about my motorcycles. Clown, I got four motorcycles. The one I, that they stole and sold, I'm going to get it back. Or I'm going to get the money for it and I'm going to buy a brand new. I don't give a fuck how we do it. But I got four bikes and I travel on them all the time. So... Maybe you can't afford them kind of bikes. But I can. So sit back and watch how this unfolds. Because I take jobs. See, you ain't got the balls to do nothing. So that's why you make fuck comments like you do. But when you have corruption out here, free people... It is time we take a stand and put a stop to this. It is time we restructure our judicial system, our police department, and our government. Because it is a corrupt entity that is taking place in America today. And we got to put a stop to it. But stand by. The 45 days have passed and the judge is still sitting on this case. Still sitting on this case. He gave me 45 days and I refuse to reserve people I've already served and paid to have them serve. The funny thing about this, ladies and gentlemen, if the shoe was on the other foot, this case would have been dismissed because they definitely, if these defendants were suing me and I didn't answer them, I would be in default. Okay? And they wouldn't give them another chance to reserve me. This would never happen. This is corruption. Ex parte at its best. Siding with one side over another. And that's what's taking place in this case. So, to the judge, clerk of the court... Hurry up and send me my dismissal so I can get this to Richmond. Because I know you're looking at these recordings. You got caught. You got caught. You get to do this so much to people, you got caught. And free people, you got to start recording your interactions with these clowns. You have a right to go into the public area and record your transactions with any government agency. You pay for that. That building, I own. These people that work there, I pay them with my taxes. And I have, under the law, a right to record my transactions with these criminals. And they got caught at it. And now they don't know what to do. Well, we've already known that. See, Bootlickers that love to run your mouth, all has been planned. All has been set up to cover these individuals because we knew this is what they would do. Stay tuned. More to come.